How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech. So iOS 15.1, the first major software update in iOS 15, was just released. And as you can imagine, it has quite a lot of changes, new features, and bug fixes. So without further ado, let me go ahead and install it, use it for a while and run some tests, and let me show you everything that's new. Let's go. So the first thing I want to talk about in iOS 15.1 is of course SharePlay. SharePlay is a new FaceTime feature that was actually introduced in iOS 15 and it should be working since iOS 15.0, but it got delayed, but now it's finally here. So if you don't know what SharePlay is, it's the ability to share content while you're FaceTiming. So you can listen to something or watch something together. This is absolutely insanely cool. In this example, we have two people on a FaceTime call and they're listening to the same song at the same time. So the song is synced up, so both of them are listening at the same time to the same song. So they can share that experience in a very natural way, as if they're side by side. And of course, it's not only for music, it also works on a, a movie, a TV show. So same thing here, they're watching a movie at the same time, synced up, they're watching it together while on a FaceTime call so they can also see each other at the same time. And uh, it works on multiple devices as well, so you can sync, for example, your Apple TV to be uh, playing that song together with other people and then use the iPhone to see their faces. So another awesome way to use uh, SharePlay. And it also works on your iPhone naturally, on iPad and on the Mac. Uh, keep in mind that if you're using it on iPhone or iPad, you need to be running iPadOS or iOS 15.1 and on the Mac only on macOS Monterey. So you need to be updated in order to take advantage of SharePlay. And also, it's not only music, TV shows and movies, SharePlay will also work on games and you can even share your screen. So that's pretty, pretty cool. But there's something that not everyone has realized and I wanna tell you right now, and it's not really great news, but you need to realize that, is that right now, at least right now, this will only work on Apple native apps. So you only be able to share play songs from Apple Music, uh, TV shows and movies from Apple TV app, and so on and so on. So you won't be able to share any content from any application or any service. So keep that in mind. Now we're gonna talk about the camera because we have some new features and changes in iOS 15.1. Okay, so let's go to the settings app and then let's scroll down and go to camera. And please keep in mind that what I'm gonna show you right now that has to do with the camera, they will only work on the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. So they are exclusive to those two high-end models, right? So the first thing I wanna talk about is ProRes, the new format. So let's tap here on formats. And finally, we have under video capture, Apple ProRes, so you can enable it. And then if you go ahead and uh, open your camera app and then go to video, you'll see right there ProRes. By default, it'll be turned off. But if you turn on, if you enable it, you'll see right here that my maximum time is 28 minutes. So it's absolutely insane how much storage it'll actually take up. So ProRes, as the name suggests, is a pro feature and I will only recommend that you actually enable this and use this if you're actually a pro uh, photographer, video maker, and you really need to take advantage of a higher quality. If not, just disable it, because otherwise, in just a few minutes, you ruin all your storage. I mean, not ruin, but of course, you take all of your space just on a few minutes of video. It's absolutely amazing. So uh, let's go back, and then let's go back again and we are in the setting in the camera settings and then scroll down a bit more and now we have the possibility to enable or disable auto macro so as you know the ultra wide camera on the iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max they have the macro mode so uh, you can enable and disable it so this mode will automatically turn on or not because some people find it kind of annoying that the macro is always on so now you have the possibility to turn it on or off so while it's on as you can see right here and if i grab my camera and go to photo so if i get close to a subject as you can see here it'll change 
and then it will automatically change to the macro mode as you can see so it's off and now on so you can see that it changes automatically to macro uh, if you turn this off you can see that it won't do that anymore so you can come closer or not and then it just won't it won't do that effect so you have the possibility to have macro or not of course i'll leave it on i do recommend that you leave it on as well because this is a very very nice feature to have now i want to talk about the wallet app because we can finally add our covid vaccine card to the application so we can have it here as a pass let's say as a card even with our qr code so you can authenticate it and use just your iphone uh, to prove that you have taken the covid vaccine so that's very very cool uh, you can add all the information from the health app and then it'll go directly to your wallet as a card please keep in mind that this is not available uh, all around the world uh, not all countries have this feature just yet that's why i can't add my vaccine card to my wallet app just because it doesn't work where i live all right but it will work if you are in the us in a lot of other countries so that's very nice and last but not least of course we have a ton and a lot of optimizations bug fixes and improvements on the battery and i know you guys always really really look forward to that and that's no exception in ios 15.1 unfortunately i can't show you um, how my battery got better from ios 15.1 because i'm just using it for a few minutes like an hour ever since i got the update so i can't show you i need at least a few days but if you want more information on that i would recommend that you follow me on instagram and i'll have a link on the description i always create a ton of content there but i can tell you that at least from uh, that short period of time ios 15.1 is very fluid is really fast it's not buggy i haven't encountered i haven't run into any issues whatsoever so i do recommend updating if for some reason you didn't want to update to ios 15.0 now is the time to update to 15.1 because it's getting more and more stable all right so that's pretty much it that's pretty much what i wanted to tell you so if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button down below and the subscribe button with the little bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video this help us out so so much and last but not least hit the comment box down below let me know your thoughts about the update about the video and about the channel as a whole i always do appreciate all your feedback right so that's pretty much it and i'll see you on my next video as usual bye bye